On the eighth day of a beautiful Christmas, this video gave to me. Hi guys, it's me, Allie, and today I am here filming my December favorites. And, I don't know, I have a decent amount of favorites. I don't think it's a lot. I know I didn't do a November favorites, but I didn't want to keep, like, repeating favorites. So I don't know if I'm going to be doing one every single month. It's probably going to be, like a little less frequent, just so you guys know. But I'm just going to jump right in. I'll start with beauty products. The first thing, I don't even know if this counts as a December favorite because I literally got it like <laughs> yesterday. Literally I got it yesterday, but I don't even care because I've been dreaming about getting this for like a good year and a half now and I'm so excited. And it is my naked palette, isn't it so pretty? Oh my gosh, this is a naked palette by Urban Decay. If you haven't gotten it already, go to Sephora and get it. Obviously, almost everyone in their mothers has this palette, but it is wonderful. And I just got it for my Secret Santa yesterday. And just, can we just look? Can we just? Come on. Come on. It's so wonderful. It literally took me forever to do my makeup this morning because I just looked at it and I was like, where do I even start? There are so many pretty colors, like, I don't even know which ones to pick. This is really, really awesome. And I know I don't travel that much, but I know, like, when I do start traveling, like, when I go to college, it's going to be really convenient because there are 12 eyeshadows in here and all this little palette. Like, how convenient is that? It even has a little spot to store a brush and has a nice big mirror right there. Oh, look at that. You can see me filming. What's up? So, yes. Love, love, love my naked palette. And thank you to my secret Santa for getting me this. Yay! The second beauty product that I have been loving is my e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. And this is just in clear. I don't think they have it in like anything else really. And it's just a pump and it comes out like that. Now, normally I do not like silicone based face primers. I, I really don't. And I was really unsure when I bought this because I didn't know if it was a silicone ba face primer. But it was only $6 at Target so I was like, you know what, I'm going to try it. I got it, and I came home, and I tested it, and it was silicone. And I was like, no. I was like, I'm not going to like it. And I used it. And this makes your makeup stay so, so wonderfully. Like, this might beat out my Revlon Color Stay one. I don't know, because I'm still in love with that one. But this is a top. It's up there. It's, it's so nice. It's not my other silicone-based face primer that I did try before, it kind of made my face feel like greasy and like just gross. And this one really doesn't. It it kind of just like smooths everything over. And I really like that about this product. The last thing I have is a chapstick. And this is my Soft Lips Vanilla Chapstick. And I got this again from my Secret Santa. But I've used these before and I've loved them. But just from getting it from Secret Santa reminds me how much I love this. This they're so, first of all, it smells like straight up vanilla. I don't know if they have any other flavors. I think they have a peppermint one, but I'm not 100% sure. They're so moisturizing. They're like totally convenient to like carry around ever because they're so tiny. They're just wonderful and they're really inexpensive too. I know sometimes the bombs could be like a little pricey. This isn't. It's wonderful. Gets the job done. Smells good on your lips. Tastes good. Gets everything moisturized. What more? Can you ask for a lip balm? Nothing really. I'm not really sure if it counts as like a makeup product, but I'm going to count it as one anyway. This is my Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for Lids, Lashes, and Lips. And that's just what that looks like. If you could see that. Yep, there we go. All I do is I shake this up, and when I'm putting wings on my eyes for like eyeliner or whatever, I like to use this to touch up and make mistakes. If I make mistakes, I just dip a Q-tip in and just fix it up, and like you're ready. And it's wonderful. That's really the only thing I use it for. I don't like taking my eye makeup off with like a cotton ball on this. I'd much rather use a wipe. Like I feel like, I don't know, it feels weird. I mean you can use it for that, but I personally don't like to. I just don't like how the cotton ball feels. I don't know. I'm weird. Just whatever. It's really good. I really like this. It's really good too for people who have shaky hands and are not good eyeliner. Raise your hand if you're that girl. 
next product I have is a nail polish, and I only have one this month, and this is OPI's Vodka and Caviar. Can you see that? Can you read it? Can you read it? Do you see it? There we go. Vodka and Caviar. And this is just a really, really pretty red. Whoa, that looks like way brighter. It's totally not that red. Hang on. I'll fix this. Ready? Okay. You know what? It's just going to look red. Oh, that's better. Right there. It looks perfect there. It's just, it's like a perfect red, and it's perfect time to wear this, obviously, in the winter. I love this, and I love the way it looks on your nails. It's just the perfect red, and I think it would complement anyone, and classic red nails. Who does not love them? I don't think I've met a single person who could not rock a red nail. Okay, so now moving on to non-makeup related items. The first things, things I have are Christmas scented hand sanitizers, and these two particularly, particularly, there we go, are from Bath and Body Works. One is my Candy Cane Bliss, and this just smells like straight up candy cane. Oh my gosh, it smells so delicious. By the way, if you're looking for Twisted Peppermint, they changed the name. It is now called Candy Cane Bliss. I went to my Bath and Body Works, almost had a heart attack because I couldn't find Twisted Peppermint. No fear, they just changed the name. It smells exactly the same. I promise. My second favorite one that I've been using is my Vanilla Bean Noel. And once again, it just smells like vanilla. It's not, it's, but it's not, it's not a very strong vanilla, but it still smells really, really good. I actually have that in the wallflower for my room. And that smells really, really good too. So, love these hand sanitizers from Bath and Body Works. They're, they're like a dollar fifty each, I believe. So they're really nice, and they smell really good, and they, you know, keep your hands nice and sanitized. The product I have is a hair product. This is my Suave Professional Dry Shampoo. Um, I don't think there's any. Oh, it's the spray kind. I don't know if there's another kind, but this has been a lifesaver for me because this whole entire month. I've been so tired and I just cannot wait for winter break because school is exhausting me and I cannot take it anymore. And this is a savior because if I curl my hair one day and I just sleep in the next day, I can just put my hair up in a messy bun or in a ponytail, spray some of this in, and I am good to go. This is a lifesaver. And the only thing I would be careful of, it kind of does, it might leave a little white residue. You have to be really careful and like rub it in, but... It still gets the job done, and I still love it. I haven't had much problems with it. It also smells really, really good. It's it's almost like fruity, I would say. Yeah. It, it smells like tropical. I don't know how to describe it. I smell like mangoes and like pineapple and things like that. But it smells really, really good. And another great thing is it's not expensive at all. It's like $2, so... Love, love, love this. Next thing I have is actually an early Christmas present from my mom. So thanks, mom, if you're watching. And this is my little iHome. It just looks like this. And you plug in your iPod or MP3 player or your phone into here. And you just set your iPod on this little stand right here. And you turn the button on. And this makes your music sound so much better. And I love using this in the mornings when, you know, I'm just getting ready for school and I'm just jamming out to some Taylor Swift or if I'm in the bathroom taking a shower and I want to sing loud and obnoxious Christmas songs so I'll turn up my iPod and so everyone can hear the Christmas joy that I'm spreading this holiday season. So, really, really love my iHome. Thanks, Mom, for the Christmas present. That was early. My last favorite that I have is a clothing item and it is just an oversized maroon sweater. It looks like this. It has a collar, which I love because I could wear it to school. Yes, we have to have collars in our schools because we're weird. And it's just, it's kind of, it's not cable knit, but I don't really know what that's called. What is that? I don't know. That's the design on it. Maybe it is cable knit. I'm really not sure. Um, this is from the brand, what brand is this? I lied. I'm sorry. I don't know the brand. I got this from the Salvation Army for like seriously four dollars and it is so soft and so warm and so comfortable and I know maroon is a very popular color for this fall slash winter so keeps me warm 
fashionable. Okay, so that is all of my favorites for this month, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave any requests you have down below and tell me your favorite products of the month so I can go check them out if I don't have them already. Be sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram and like my Facebook page, and all of that wonderful stuff. All my links will be in the down bar. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.